My name is Cassie Findlay and I'm an archivist working primarily with digital records. When I saw what Julian Assange and WikiLeaks achieved with the releases last year, it gave me renewed excitement about my work. It was like a kind of jolt back to the core principles of our profession, that without access to documentary evidence of what our governments are doing in our names, we cannot possibly have a sensible basis on which to make decisions in a healthy democracy. What WikiLeaks has done also has been to show what I believe is a serious disconnect between current rules and practices around access to records and the tremendous shift we've seen in people's expectations for access to information and the recognition of the great power it has to promote reform, particularly when it is shared rapidly and widely online. In Australia and in many other Western countries, we have lip service paid to greater openness while we know from many studies that it's more difficult than ever to succeed with applications under freedom of information. That efforts in the United States to declassify government information have been painfully slow. And that here in Australia, we still have archives laws which apply blanket 20 or 30 year closure rules for general access to public records. By contrast, WikiLeaks shows us how an archive can be formed directly from the affairs the records document, whether it's in a war zone or an embassy, and immediately serve an incredibly powerful purpose in society. It's about turning the gatekeeper-controlled drips of information from powerful institutions that we see now into a freely flowing, world-transforming wave of evidence. And amongst my peers in the archives and library world, I'm certainly not alone in supporting the work of WikiLeaks. I've spoken with many other archivists and librarians working here and in Europe and the United States, including senior practitioners in universities, government and the private sector. We all support free speech, free press and openness and accountability of government as crucial for a democratic society. And our great concern is that the struggle for these principles may be set back years or even decades if the alleged whistleblower Bradley Manning is convicted or if the US successfully prosecutes Julian Assange and WikiLeaks under trumped up espionage charges. As an Australian, I find the persecution and threats specifically against Julian Assange and the abandonment of him by our government to be completely at odds with what I expect them to do for a citizen of this country. In particular, one who has shown great courage and resilience in the face of forces that would crush many of us. Here we have the publisher and editor in chief of a free press organisation that has done nothing more than keep the promise that WikiLeaks makes to whistleblowers to achieve maximum impact for their material and who continues to honour that promise. He should be defended and protected, not thrown under a bus in case we get in the way of the United States' need for revenge. I hope that what Julian Assange and WikiLeaks have done will trigger a new way for all of us to see the power and value of information to expose injustices and bring reform. And I hope very much that we in Australia will not allow our government to be complicit with the United States in punishing Julian Assange for opening up the archives. Thank you.